This is Melina Paris with Random Links News, and we're here today talking with Dr. Jessica Kiss. We're going to ask her a few questions about her decision, her family's decision, to have her children participate in the vaccine trials. Hi, Dr. Kiss. Hi, thanks for having me. Thank you. Uh, so let's start with when your family decided to participate in the vaccine trials. Where were we in terms of progress in treating COVID-19 in the country? And why was it important for your children to participate? So I first started looking into this after I got vaccinated this time last year, um, knowing that those trials were gonna be emerging in hopes that my family could provide more support to help get this country moving forward. At the time we were at the height of last year's part of the pandemic and things look pretty dire. So my hope was to help my kids find a way to empower themselves to be part of what ends the pandemic for us. That's wonderful. Now you spoke a lot about how your kids were participating in the trials on your Instagram. What confirmed the decision for your children? You know, we have a long conversation with my three older kids who are old enough to know kind of what's going on and what can be done about vaccination and how research works and risk of getting a placebo and needing one later. And after we had that conversation and explained to them that it was an option for them to participate and be part of kids getting vaccinated, emphatically the three of them asked to be participants. So that is what solidified in me that it was the right choice for the family. That's wonderful news. What did your children say about participating? They all thought it was really cool. And that was the word all three of my older kids used. My, my toddler was only two and a half at the time um, and was a total trooper through it. And we talked about how she was getting a shot like her regular shots. Um, and you know, that's an age they get a lot of shots anyway. So it was okay for her. But my three bigger kids felt like rock stars by really feeling, like I said, empowered to do something where it gave them sense of control again over a situation that was so chaotic. And that's so important. Clearly, we see the results of these vaccine trials in the success of making them available for children 12 to 18 years old. How do we maintain this progress going forward? You know, it, the biggest thing is getting kids vaccinated at this point, right? So those 5 to 11 year olds, we got to get those shots in those arms at this point. We also need to empower kids to understand that even if they might be at lower risk for COVID themselves, their risk of spreading it to others is still pretty high and understanding that this is a way that it empowers them. I always tell kids that shots make them superheroes. It gives them an invisible shield to fight off disease and illness. And so this is another way that they'll become COVID superheroes. I love it, COVID superheroes. So what is your Instagram channel? Um, so my Instagram is Ask Dr. Mom and uh, my TikTok as well. And I try to post kind of daily about this kind of information. Right. Exactly. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Kiss. Thank you.